Alright guys, we're back with some more Pokemon Platinum version, and last time we caught the three legendary bird Pokemon, Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres, as well as Mesprit. And today we're going to hopefully be getting Dialga and Palkia. Now what we have to first do, I'm going to try and make this episode like a little bit of a walkthrough-y, tutorial -y kind of thing, which I'm not really used to because I don't really do it like that, but I'm going to see how it goes. So, first step is going to be coming into this ruins here in Celestic Town or City, whatever it's called, and talk to this, or push A into the painting, and... Here comes Cynthia now, blabbering on about how there's this, like, legend about the three entities and blah blah blah, all this kind of stuff. I really don't really care too much about the story plot at this point in the game. All I really want is just to get, um, uh, Diaga and Palkia, and she'll just keep saying yes when she says if I can continue on. Just keep saying yes to all, like, two or three times that she says it. And she, if you want to read, the story's kind of interesting if you've never, like, really thought about the story, but I've already seen this quite a few times, so I'm just gonna breeze past it, because really the main thing you're here to watch is look how to get these two Pokemon, and that's what I'm here to do, show you how to get them. So she's gonna continue on, more useless stuff that I really don't care about, at least now I don't care about listening it too much, but after like a minute of her blathering on and on, she's gonna finally leave. And now, one last thing we can we have to do here in Celestic Town, if I can find the right house. Dun dun, this music is so peaceful. I don't think it's in here actually. I'm gonna try it anyways. And I was right. It's not in here. Alright, so let's see here. Uh -huh. It might be in this house, but actually now that I think about it, it isn't. I probably should check the giant house that's here. Like this one right here. It might be where I'm looking. But basically, come into this brown house and then talk to this old lady here. Well, hello, you look good. I did some research of my own since this, that spot of trouble last time, and Coronet's acting up had me very concerned too. Well, this is what I found from the shine. It's a book. It's quite old. Let me read a bit for you. The bearer of the shining element orb summons the Elga to the spear pillar. The guardian of Pokemon of time will answer the call. The bearer of the shining lustrous orb summons Parkion to the spear pillar. The Pokemon that birds the binds is spatial dimension will answer the call. It seems the people of long ago met both Diaga and Palkia, the Pokemon of time and space. Well then. It's an old book, and I probably didn't have to read this book. But pretty much what you do have to do is talk to both Cynthia and talk to the old lady. So now what I'm going to do is speed up this next part and make it to where we have to do, where we have to go in, uh, Spear Pillar, uh, Mount Coronet. That's where we have to go, and I'm going to just speed this up. So, Enjoy the music that I may, may or may not put. We've uh, gone through like half of Mount Coronet. You're gonna want to come into this little crevicely hole thing right here. And we've already been here once, I'm, or at least you you could have come here once if you were exploring quite a bit of the stuff when you came here the first time around. And you may have noticed that there's a waterfall here. And you at the time that you come here the first time around, you don't have the HM4 waterfall, but now we do, and we can finally go up here and see what's up here. Now make sure you do come here be first before you go in. Uh, go up and try and find Dialga and Palkia because there's some items that you have to use or get before you can go and actually battle them. And the first one would be right here to the left of this rock, an Adamant Orb. And the other one would be right here, a Lustrous Orb. Now, like that book, or not the book, but the lady, the old grandma was telling us how you needed both of these items in order to find or and actually see them and battle them. That's, those two items are right there, that's what she was talking about, and that's exactly what we need, and we can only fight the two legendary beings, uh, only if we have these two items. It's a nice touch, if you played either diamond or plat, or, wow, either diamond or pearl, you'll know that you can get both of these, well not both of these, but you can get these, 
but only one per game. Uh, Diamond version would have the Adamant Orb, and the Lustrous Orb would be in Pearl version for Palkia. So, now that we have them, we can actually go and hopefully battle them. Which would be awesome, because that's the main reason of this. Trying to go and capture some legendary Pokemans. Alright. So, let's make it up here to the top. And we're almost there. I could have probably sped this little part up here, but eh. Why not? I didn't really feel like speeding it up. I may as well just explain why we needed those items and all that stuff. Good explanation stuff now, and I don't have to do it later when I'm actually battling them. And also, you may have noticed that I have only one Master Ball and 100 Ultra Balls. Well, I got rid of all the Master Balls that I don't really need anymore. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use them anymore. Maybe for one Pokemon that I have in mind. That's about it. And then, uh, I'm just gonna Master Ball these two Legendaries and hope, or Ultra Ball these two Legendaries and hopefully it'll work. But anyways, we're here at Spear Pillar now. If you walk all the way to the middle, you'll notice this little blue spear thingy. What I highly recommend now for you to do is save. What I'm going to do is actually save state. Because I don't want to in-game save because in case some something recording-wise goes wrong, I might lose the recording and I might lose some of the progress. But I'm going to save state and we're going to go up against the first one. Alright, I'm not going to speed up any of the, uh... I'm not going to speed up this battle. I might speed up the second one once you get to know what we're gonna, what we're dealing up against. So, I'm going to... I'm not really sure who to send up first, to be honest. I'm actually going to go gonna go for Rage and get the Intimidate off. So. On the other side of the rift. In a fantastically bizarre place. It's Dialga. Will you challenge Dialga? Of course. And there's Dialga's cry, and here is the epic battle music for Dialga. Now, I am quite underleveled for this battle, only because of the fact that Dios, bleh, this Dialga is at level 70, and Palkia will be as well at level 70. I am 7 levels underleveled, my best being still 4 levels underneath this Dialga, but we should be able to manage. I'm gonna go for the Earthquake. Dialga is part Steel and part Dragon, so a nice little typing there. It's actually got quite a bit of weaknesses because of that Steel typing, but it's actually cool typing in my opinion. Steel Dragon, not too, not too bad. Now then, I really don't want to knock this thing down. It's going to use Heal Block, which can be annoying because I can no longer heal myself after it does quite a bit of damage to me. But that's fine, we can deal with it. And I don't think Earthquake will be enough to defeat it. So I'm going to try and go for the Earthquake again. Hopefully I can bring it down to the red and then go into Quagsire and go for Yawn. Now, okay good. We have it to the perfect amount of damage that we want. It went for the Earth Power. So that was actually kind of dumb on its part because I'm a flying type. So it's not going to affect me, so it, yeah. It also has Roar of Time, which is, which is its best move. Which is a quite a devastating attack for a Dragon-type. But if it uses it, I'll explain it. If not, I'll explain it once I actually have it in my PC. It's going to go for the Earth Power now, since I'm also... I'm no longer the Flying Gyarados. It's going to hit me, and it's going to hit hard. As you can see, I've taken quite a hefty hit right there. So I'm going to go for the Yawn. Make it drowsy, so it'll fall asleep. And I'm going to go back into the Gyarados... Just because I have the flying type being on my side. And Gear just is pretty bulky. And I'll get another Intimidate on it. Which I don't think will even matter. Because I think its final move is Flash Cannon. Which is a special type move. So it keeps going for the heal block. Which is alright. If it keeps wasting its heal blocks I won't really care. But we finally have it asleep. So this is good. So now I'm going to go for the... The Ultra Balls. I only have a, I have a hundred. And that's the only kind of Pokeball I have. So why the heck not. Go for it Ultra Ball. One. Two. And nothing. Oh, I was actually really getting happy if I could have caught it in my first try. But it's still asleep. So by, by no means will this be easy. This guy, I think it's got a pretty high or low catch rate, whichever makes it more difficult, I don't know. Uh, one, two, three, and there we go. Wow, I take that completely back. That dialog was pretty easy to capture, not gonna lie. But there we go, we captured the first of the two legendary Pokemon, Dialga. Like I said, Steel Dragon, a legendary Pokemon of Sinnoh, the temporal Pokemon. It is said that time flows when Dialga's heart beats. So that's uh, pretty crazy right there. No nickname for you. So yeah, go to the baby's PC. Alright, so, in order for us to get Palkia now, let's just, uh, walk on out. Leave. Go back in. And then, yeah, we're, we're off. Who cares? And now, here's a pink little bubble thing. So I'm gonna go, that's obviously for Palkia, remember you have to have both of the items, Lustrous and whatever the other one, Adam and Orb in order to actually see them and battle them. 
So I'm going to heal up Duck Face. Alright, good. And now I'm going to also save state. Save state in slot 2, why the heck not. And I'm going to lead with Gyarados again. So let's go. On the other side of the rift, in a fantastically bizarre place. It's Palkia! Will you challenge Palkia? Of course we're going to challenge Palkia. And like Dialga, this thing is... At level 70, its typing is Water Dragon, which means it only has one weakness, and that's other Dragon types. And while Gyarados does have uh, a Dragon type move, it would probably kill it, and I don't want to do that, because I want to capture this thing. Both of these have the ability Pressure, and I'm probably not going to speed this up, because if it's a, if it goes as smoothly as it did with uh, Dialga, I don't really need to speed up, so... Let's hopefully capture this thing. We're going to go for the Strength. Bam! Hit it in the face. I have nothing that's super effective on this thing like, uh, well, okay, it was. Like, for Dialga, I mean. But it's gonna, uh, it apparently also has Earth Power, and this one has Spatial Rend, which is basically the counterpart to Roar of Time. It's not as strong as Roar of Time, but Roar of Time takes Recharge Dam, or Recharge Turn, so it's basically like a Dragon Power, a, a Dragon-type Hyper Beam, the Roar of Time, but Spatial Rend is a little bit weaker, but it doesn't need Recharge Time in between, so that can be pretty difficult. Alright, so I took it down to the orange. I'm gonna go for a waterfall and weaken it. This is times four resistance to water type moves, so I'm gonna just use this to weaken it bit by bit. Alright, that should be quite enough. I'm gonna go into duck face now and use yawn again. Alright. Ideally, we wanna have this thing asleep or paralyzed or poisoned or burned and then have it in a low health. I prefer either asleep or paralyzed because if it's burned or poisoned it can potentially die on its own and that's never good. So this thing as well, its final move is going to be Slash, which is not really a great move, but you know, it's, it's there. Alright, so I'm gonna go, since it's Slash also, Intimidate does weaken Slash's power, so I'm gonna keep going into Rage, and I'm going to basically make both heal, uh, well actually all three, heal block is pretty useless on this thing, Slash and Earth Power are all gonna be pretty pointless on this thing, so... The only thing it can really do to me to hurt me is Spatial Rend, but it's not really using it, so it's, it's all good. So now I'm just going to chuck the balls at him. This thing really shouldn't be that tough. It's probably going to be as simple as Dialga was. One, two, three, and there we go. Simpler. We caught it on our first Ultra Ball, and that was Palkia right there, guys. <laughs> Pretty dang easy. Palkia's data was added to the Pokedex. Well, thank you, Palkia. A legendary Pokemon Sinnoh, it is said that space becomes more stable with Palkia's every breath, the spatial Pokemon. Pretty dang sweet. Alright, so, that was it guys, that's how you capture Dialga and Palkia in Pokemon Platinum version. Next time we're going to be capturing the last legendary Pokemon that you can get in this game, legit wise, as in it's already in the game. After that, well you'll see what I'll do. So until then, I will see you guys next time, bye.